if we were standing in your physical shoes, we would we would decide to be lazy. <laughs> we're reaching for the perfect word. We would decide to be lazy for a little while. Because in your giving yourself permission to be lazy, you're giving yourself permission to allow your grid to fill in with everything that you've already chosen and put into your vortex. The word lazy has an unpleasant connotation, doesn't it? Because it's humans measuring themselves against other humans based upon a flaw, pre flawed premise. And the flawed premise is the more you do, the more you're worth. And that is the most flawed of all flawed premises. I'd like to give you the premise that is at the basis of your universe. The better you feel, the more you allow. You could not be more deserving. You came as deserving beings into this time space reality with powerful and clear intent. You've been mixing it up with others and defining what's important not only to you personally, but important to you on behalf of others. You've included in your vortex the well being of many others. In some cases, mass consciousness. In some cases, a community. In some cases, a family. But you've included in your vortex a desire for the well being of far more than your personal self. But it is necessary for you to tend to the well being of your personal self in order to be a productive advocate for the well-being for anyone else. In other words, you cannot give or you cannot extend or you cannot punctuate or you cannot accentuate. You cannot assist anything that you are not already feeling, which means if you are wanting in an altruistic way to be an advantage to everyone, you know, you first have got to find a way to be of advantage to yourself. Which means you want to carve out more time to be nicer to yourself, more private time, more time under the bridge, more time where others are not telling you what to do, more time when you are satisfying your own personal intention for things. If we were standing in your physical shoes and someone were to ask you to do something, we would stop in the middle of the request and we would evaluate it completely. And we would say to them, I sincerely desire to accomplish this request that you're offering. And it is my expectation that I will be able to do that since I am in this relationship with you and you're requesting it of me, employer or mate or parent or child or whoever it is. It is my expectation that I will be able to accomplish this. I just have to insert one thing in the foreground of this request. I will accomplish it for you as long as I can first accomplish ease for myself in the process. Really want you to ponder that a little bit. Esther on one of the earlier cruises made sure that everyone received an easy button from Staples. Everyone got one. And Esther found a box of them in the attic the other day and she spread them all around her house because she wants to amplify the ease of things, not the hardness. She wants to no longer justify the well-being that flows to her by pointing out how hard she's working in relationship to others. She wants to emphasize the well-being that's flowing to her by remembering the vibrational alignment that she is achieving. If we were standing in your physical shoes, we would do these things every day and then anything else that you have time for. We would meditate for 15 minutes every day, which means we would quiet our mind with the simple intention of allowing our cork to float. We would go outside no matter what the weather and we'd move around in it in appreciation of this planet. We would look up and around and we would find things to acknowledge and we would talk about them right out loud. 
Esther walks through her gardens and says to everything, you are my favorite. You are my favorite. You are my favorite. You are my favorite. You are my favorite stone on the pathway. You are my favorite bird in the tree. You are my favorite flower in bloom. You are my favorite flower not in bloom. You are my favorite tree. You are my favorite bush. You are my favorite frog. You are my favorite frog. You kept me awake all night, but you are still my favorite frog. In other words, so first thing, meditate. Second thing, spend more time outside. Third thing, we would buy a notebook. We would call it my book of positive aspects. And we would fill at least three, four, five is even better, pages of positive aspects five different subjects and write the positive aspects of it training your vibration into that upward place and then there is one last thing that if we were standing in your physical shoes we would do every single day we would look upward and outward best if you do it outside or standing at a window and we would acknowledge that there are universal forces that are focused right at you we would acknowledge by calling it my name if you have a name that you like and we would say I acknowledge that I am the object of your positive attention and I'm appreciating your continual gaze on behalf of my well-being and today no matter where I am no matter where I am going no matter what I am doing and no matter who I am doing it with I will be in conscious awareness that you too are there with me appreciating me supporting me assisting me acknowledging me inspiring me guiding me having fun with me acknowledging me supporting me assisting me inspiring me helping me guiding me aware of me loving me showing me inspiring me guiding me helping me uplifting me showing me get into an endless loop of that acknowledgement and watch what begins to happen in your life as soon as this day your vortex is filled to the brim with specific requests that you have put there and that you are deserving of the realization of and it's time for those realizations to be flooding into your experience at a rate that will astonish those who surround you it's time for you to remember what you've put there and to bring it forward active into your today experience we've been talking to you all day from our appreciation of who you are but even as we express it from our powerful point of knowing we know that you don't yet know who you are you don't for the most part understand the important role you play in the expansion of all that is we stand as the beneficiaries of all of the vortices that you have accomplished and we revel in them but it is our powerful desire that you now here in your physical bodies allow yourselves to be the recipients of the physical manifestation of those things that you have put there because that was the plan you didn't say I'll go forth and fill up a vortex full of things that I care about and deny myself of the realization of them you said I'll go forth and I'll experience the fullness of that you see 